Now, Chef, the risotto, is this, what type of rice is this here? Uh, this was basmati rice. Yeah. We're cooking it with down walnuts. with walnuts. Yeah, walnuts, um, mushrooms are going to go in there. Some of the beans, some onion, some sweet red pepper. Okay. Uh, a little chutney dip to go with the scones, which is yeah. walnuts, apple, red pepper, balsamic, brown sugar. Get that sweet and sour thing going. Look on. at that, guys. Look okay. how vibrant that colour is. Absolutely gorgeous with the peppers, the apples, and that. That will reduce down and thicken right up. Spice chilli soup. So yeah. A touch of chilli flake, touch of cayenne, really give it a bit of a kick. Yeah. Okay. Garlic, onion, vegetable mm -hmm. stock, and I've put a touch of milk in there instead okay. of cream, so it's not too heavy. Okay. Right? That's the that's the idea. And you could that. and you could probably use if you had coconut milk, you could hit it with that no, too. No, definitely. You, yeah. Chef? Here we okay. go. This is ready now, and this is what I'm grilling the bread. Off with. This is the rest of the cheese. Yeah. Which you've hit with a bit of thyme. Thyme, thyme honey, and garlic, and look yeah. at that. The idea is you cut your bread up, it's all yeah. gooey and lovely. Okay, and, chef. Um, and that, that's really great little finger food for the, you know. Beautiful. Time Lots of, of lovely ideas. Johnny here yeah, is whipping yeah, yeah, up yeah, the cream. Yeah. yeah. Now, what, what, what is it like being an instructor? What makes a good instructor? What, what are you trying to get? What message are you trying to get across? Well, I mean, we, we look for guys who yeah. just can, one, empathize with other people and empathize yeah. with someone. I think that's ready, mate. It's going to turn into butter in a minute. Look, that's well uh, Yeah. I don't have much uh, whipping no. experience. Yeah. Uh, don't worry about it. Yeah. But, uh, I, I, right. I will say, we look for people who just care about someone, right? Yeah. Someone who can care about a guy mm -hmm. and who could, you know, help facilitate mm -hmm. a guy's transformation. Okay. And a guy who can understand that it's not about we're getting people with problems, we're getting people who want to enhance their lives, not define them. And so, oh. as long as a guy can help facilitate that, he cares and he's pretty good to people. You know, and you encourage them along the way because they already have these skills. You're just probably yeah, bringing yeah, yeah, them out. Yeah, you? You're absolutely right, right? Yeah. So, it's like no one does not have the ability to communicate with someone. It's about yeah. them getting comfortable sure. and at the same time making someone else comfortable and being able to elicit what other people are enjoying right. and interested in. Now, I know that in your country in particular, because I, I worked out there myself, there's uh, people are a bit worried about touching. You've got something called the Kino method. Well, so, yeah. explain to us a little bit about that. Even the Brits, you know, feely touching well, a bit too. Explain. Wayne, Wayne said to me one time, well, the Sorry, Brits just don't touch, but I don't know if that's true. I think that you just want to assume a level of familiarity when you're yeah. in a conversation. So, if I saw you and I said, hello, I go, hey, Ainsley, how are you? Yeah. And then I do something, this might be pertinent to a cooking show, hand sandwich, which yeah. is one hand, your hand, my hand on top. Okay. Right? Now we have a hand sandwich. Okay. Uh, which is delicious and yeah. uh, useful and pragmatic in a conversation. All right, then. So you just want to assume a level of familiarity. You and want to and also the sometimes you use the back of the fingers too, not to yeah, be too... Yeah, from like the shoulder. Do you mind if I... No, 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 give it an yeah, example. Well, here we are, guys. So, give an example. So you have from basically the shoulder to the elbow, right? And that's a good platonic area to touch someone. So mm -hmm. you just use the back of your hand and you know, mm -hmm. simply go, hey, how are you? Sure. And you also want to accent or punctuate when you, you're interested in what someone had to sure. say. And so in order to do and that... about three hours later, it's one of them, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Right. Turn the cameras off and maybe we'll talk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Actually, uh, give me another glass of wine. All right, then. You know, what about... Uh, we're cooking here. We've got lots of fabulous foods on both sides of yeah, the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. How important is that? People say the way to a man's heart. What about the way to a woman's heart? Right. Um, I think any experience is good for two people. So mm -hmm. I think more than a guy just cooking for a woman, two people sharing in the experience of cooking. Much like James and I, I feel like we've connected, bonded, and I have endearing feelings for him. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> James, in a simply platonic way, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> Very quick. No idea top what that means. tip for Christmas party, Johnny. Top tip. Uh, top tip for the Christmas party is just put yourself out there. Be proactive about making connections with people, and you know, don't be the guy sitting in the corner with a beer. Go out and talk to people. Or girl, I think this is true for anybody. So you, you can just talk to out. men and women. Yeah. You don't need to. Just, yeah. Yeah, guys and girls, just be proactive about making connections with strangers. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. And a round of applause too here, ladies and gentlemen. Good Thank stuff. You. Good stuff. I uh, know we take it for. All right. Okay. Listen. Basically, that music's okay, about to kick in then. Absolutely Blitz perfect that. timing. Blitz it. Blitz it. Okay, Blitz it. and uh, look what the food's going on here. Beautiful rices. This side has got the beautiful cheese that he's using to enhance that. Beautiful asparagus draped on the top here. We've got a fabulous, uh, what well, is going to be a dome of rice, hopefully. All that's going to be coming out. And we've got about 40 seconds now. Let's see our chefs get this food out. We want it to look attractive. We want it to look stunning. And so do they. So keep cracking away there, gentlemen. All right. Remember, guys, you're voting for what the chefs did with the ingredients they were given. Have they impressed you enough? Up to you to decide. All right, then. Up and down. That looks fantastic. Yeah. Get that into that bowl. Okay. Oh, I think it's down here. All right, then. Here okay. we are. Very, very little time. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, frothy bean soup. Please. Ten, nine, just eight, 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 seven, six, six five, five, four.
forget the setup lines, let's look at the menu. And in the green pepper kitchen, James Martin has prepared roasted whole sea bass on a bed of sweet potato, tomatoes and fresh thyme. Asian fish soup, asparagus risotto with char grilled asparagus and basil pesto. Looks stunning. But in the red tomato kitchen, James Tan has prepared baked apples with raisin, walnuts and camembert. Mixed festive pilau rice, camembert and raisin scones with apple and pepper chutney. Spicy kidney bean soup, baked camembert and apple tartatan with cinnamon cream. Wow. Sometimes even I want to taste. Go on. I'm jealous of you guys, I've got to say. Uh, you get stuck in there, Wayne. Uh, tell us what you did here, James. Uh, this is a... Well, we'll start off with the soup first. Oh, there you go. I'll taste that. Yeah. So it's hot and spicy mm. soup. Mm. This one I take the, took the fish head, yeah. uh, which you can make stocks out of anyway. Made a simple little stock, boiled it, taken it off, soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil. Yummy. We take the shiitake yeah, mushrooms, the tomatoes, yeah. Bit of chilli, coriander, lime juice, simple as easy mm -hmm. as that. This one is just delicious. And break this that is... fish, just break that open. Yeah, you can see it. how, look, why yeah, this is right. such a wonderful fish. Look at that, guys. Cooked right the way through. Yeah. Simple little bass, um, which I took the centre part of the bass, stuffed it full of herbs, which is a little bit of dill, chervil, bit of fresh thyme mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Take some okay, of that. Okay. Uh, that's nice fleshy there. Um, and then roasted it off on a bed of the sweet potato, tomatoes, salt, pepper, garlic, fresh thyme, olive oil, Finished it off with a basil pesto and a simple little asparagus risotto. Mm. Nice and simple. Sometimes simple things can be so impressive, can't they? Exactly. They mm. really can. Very I'm nice indeed. Want. Okay, lots of lovely ideas. Of course, you've got the beautiful basil pesto. Simple little bit of asparagus just risotto. Just well. lifted it up. Yeah. What do you think then, uh, Wayne? I think if you could cook like this, you could seduce any lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he does it. I really don't. You're a magician. Then he takes yeah. him for a drive in his sports car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm All right, that. very nice indeed. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I've got to say, you know, tin of kidney beans, little pack of camembert, six dishes. Fabulous job there, chef. But how does it taste? Get in there, Johnny. Tell yeah. us what you're Yeah, I'm a And uh, uh, tell us mind. how you prepared all of this. Then. Right, well, obviously, cheese in a box is so simple. It's garlic, thyme, and honey straight in the oven. Mm -hmm. so it goes nice and runny. Serve it with some crudités, if yeah. vegetables, if you've got them. If not, some nice crusty bread, and you get that mm. lovely sweetness. Is it lovely, um, the honey coming through? <laughs> Hurry up, mate. Wait, is it ugly? I have to be I have to be honest. I, I tried to make it difficult for you with that cheese because it did smell kind of foul when I bought it. Yeah. But it tastes delicious. I can't believe that. Yeah. You made that actually taste good. Yeah, with the, with the rest of the cheese, we took these and we got the scones with the raisins. And yeah. we just break these open. You see they cook through. They're nice and light and fluffy. Okay. With that, we've got um, the rest of the apple, some of the red romero pepper, brown sugar. Cooked it down with a bit of uh, walnuts in there as well. Try yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, please. Thank you. Mm. So you get lovely cheesiness through it, but the sweet mm. and sour from the chutney. That's mm -hmm. the idea with this one. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the baked apple, which um, we've got the cheese in there. We've got the lovely walnuts as well, and uh, the lovely raisins. Nice and mm. soft. Brown sugar finishes that one off a treat. Looking good. I'll crack you off a bit of that. Yeah. There you go. Try that. Uh, we've got a bit of the spice soup. Again, you can serve it with your scones or something as simple as um, just a big and chunky loaf of festive bread. rice pilau. Festive rice pilau. And then to top things off, an apple tart to tan. And I've just cut down. We've got some cinnamon cream on it. Look at that. Gorgeous. Really nice. Uh, simple. Caramelised. Mm. Paste. Short pastry on top. Cinnamon cream. Touch of icing sugar in there on the top at the end. Yeah. Can't be, can't be Lots simple, Lots of lovely really. ideas. What's your verdict? Yeah, then, I, I mean, it's just an amazing plethora of, like, sweetness and spicy. And uh, I mean, I just think it's one of the best meals I've ever had, and I've only had a bit. So I want you to leave me alone so I can eat everything. Yeah. <laughs> right now, I think I'm going oh, to. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. But did it sufficiently impress our studio audience? Will it be a green pepper day or a red tomato one? Green. Who knows? Green. Let's check out those cards. Shelby. Audience, will you all please vote now? And up they go. Well, we can see that today it's a red yeah. tomato day! Yeah. Hey! Veggie's yeah. rule, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, my man. Yeah, thank you very much. And congratulations to you, James. Brilliant. Has inspired you? Do you think you might go home and create some of these yeah, dishes? Yeah, you know, I think I'm definitely going to take these dishes home. I don't know if I'm going to create some afterwards. I think that's going to keep me settled for a you bit. You kind of like the idea of that. £100 spending money. Yeah, here. actually, we're going to uh, we're going to donate this on behalf of Chris Martz to Cancer Research. So, uh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Great having you on the program.
Hey. Well, I'm glad to see you're still eating away there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've enjoyed yeah, yourself, yeah. have you? Very good. Yeah. I've got to say, Wayne, both you and Johnny have come along, and I think you've, uh, you know, given men a bit of belief and stuff like that. Because there's a lot of shyness amongst us Brits, you know what I mean? We've sort of come out of ourselves. <laughs> so one or two ideas out there to help them yeah, along with us. Just get out and talk to people. Just yeah. get out and socialise. That's good, important. Good, good, good. Hey, you don't need to socialise, do you, mate? Right. You're already there. <laughs> well done, James. Great Cheers. food again. Lovely ideas. Thank you very fish. much. You've got a beautiful right. hamper to take away with you. Yeah. Thank you for coming yeah. on the show, guys. More work for you. Quickie bag. Yes, let's get them sweating. And let's say a very big thank you to Wayne and Johnny! Hey, good job, man. Good job, Johnny.